My name is Bruce Delaney. I teach joinery apprentice block courses at Wintech in Hamilton. I like creating things. I like that tactile thing where you create something out of, out of wood. I just enjoy that. I've been a member of TEU for 35 years. I belonged to a union before that, and I think there's good value in belonging to a union, just that solidarity and security. Tertiary education, my role, being a trades tutor, I think the risk is now losing staff to the industry because the pay and conditions of the trade teaching staff is not kept up with industry. Then we'll have trouble employing people back into the teaching from the trades because the trades are paying a lot better now than what they ever have. Tertiary education for me is important because we, in my role, I'm training for the industry. I have a lot of contact with employers in the industry and it's good to be able to train their apprentices. In the politic sector, the challenges are the extra workload and the compliance. There are just so much um, extra workload that people don't see, the marking of assessments and the writing of assessments, the developing of the teaching material. We're all writing our own teaching material at each polytechnic. 30% of my work probably is administration, which is taking me away from the classroom. And the workload, that extra workload has got a lot bigger over the years, much, much bigger. And the hours I'm putting in, uh, again, has, has grown immensely from when I first started. Our salary is set on a 37 and a half hour week. So I would be doing 45 hours a week. When I count the, you know, the extra couple of hours or three hours a week I do at home, after each block course I write the reports, uh, it takes almost three days to write the reports for a two week block course. And then by then another block course has already started. Yeah, and if I don't do it, it's the students that miss out. The, my employer doesn't miss out, their students miss out and, uh, and I just can't have that. For me, that's not good enough. So since the pandemic, yeah, it's just bottlenecked everything. Uh, my hours of work are, are, have increased. My work-life balance is not what it used to be, that's for sure. Um, I'm spending more time at work, less time with the family, more time on the weekends doing stuff, less time with the family. I'm doing it because I want my students to, to get the most out of me, but um, I'm doing it for them, really. To begin with, my pay went up a reasonable amount each year because in the early stages of the, uh, the employment uh, when you're on a certain pay scale each year because you've got an extra year of experience it goes up and then it gets to a point where you go over that bar into another pay scale and that's when it doesn't go up automatically and you've got to apply every year for that it's just a lot of extra work for not much gain so a lot of our polytech staff qualify for the government cost of living subsidy that's just been announced a lot of our staff, a lot of the teaching staff qualify for that. So that's sort of fairly significant and they, you know, people think we get a lot more salary than we do. Society, people that I talk to, friends and um, acquaintances, think I work from eight to four, think I get all the school holidays. Because I work 45 hours a week and my salary is for 37 and a half, any holidays I get, it's basically just time in lieu. I've, I've done that time, I'm just taking a break. The income for tradies has increased, you know, a lot more than Polytech tutors' salaries, that's for sure. I think the extra work we do, because they know, because the employer, our employer, knows we do it for our students and we will do it for our students, they sort of just expect that it's going to get done because we work hard for our students. So that's not recognised by our employer. They might realise we do it, but there's no tangible reward for doing it.